Why is that? Because the center of resistance is the same in the same position. It's away from the line of action of the force. It's far from the line of action of the force. So when we are applying this type of mechanics here, we're having two forces being summed, and those forces are not are not in opposite directions in relation to the center of resistance. So we, if we do that, if we want to apply two forces here, like uh, one at the level of the bracket and the other one at the level of the bottom, we are having two forces being summed, which is not good. Too much force for that. Or let's say we're just applying this one here. Same thing, less force, but again, away from the center of resistance. So sometimes we even see the vectors in the wrong direction, uh, meaning that the intention of the, 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 the uh, orthodontist in that situation, I understand. They want to do this by translation, the translatory movement, but in fact, they are not having it. Why is that? Because the line of action of the force is still passing away from the center of resistance. So, of course, we have a less tendency of moment because it's closer to the center of resistance when we compare to this other distance here. Well, yes, it is, but still a moment. We're still having a moment. So this is not the right way to do it. What is the best thing to do 